Hey, welcome back to Kids Eye. So today I'm going to um, show you how to make a homemade indicator or like homemade pH test um, test solution. So what I have here is red cabbage, chopping board, an extra bowl. So I'm going to chop the cabbage and I'm going to um, seep it in some water that I have on the stove boiling. So right now I'm going to go ahead and um, chop up the cabbage. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm cutting it into chunks and I'm going to pop it in my food processor behind me um, because it can cut it up a lot smaller than I can. But if you don't have um, you don't have a food processor, then cut the cabbage up into dices, like little dice sauce. Um, so that's about a centimeter cube. So, let's see here. Into a piece like, like that. I mean, it'll take a long time, but like if you don't have a food processor, I mean, you have a knife, so you don't always have to have a food processor. I just bought one because I cook a lot, so it just comes in handy. And I got like a cheapo one from Walmart, so I always get like $30 food processors, because I put them through a lot, and they break. I should probably invest in an expensive one, but the expensive ones are so expensive. So, I have my cabbage in chunks, and I'm going to um, put in a food processor here. So I have my cabbage in the pot with water in it, and the water that is simmer, I'm going to give it a little stir um, to make sure all the cabbage is kind of is in the water. I'm going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to let it just go ahead and cool down um, naturally because I don't want to work with boiling hot cabbage juice. You okay, got some blue pigments coming out too. That's pretty cool. So just give it a little stir and uh, I'm going to let it cool off. So let it go for 20 minutes and then I'm going to let it cool, cool off. So this is my pot with the um, with the red cabbage in it, and it's starting to kind of boil over. See spiders on the stove, so I'm going to turn this off. Um, probably should use a bigger pot with the big head of cabbage, but I didn't want to use so much water. I want to get it as concentrated as possible. Um, another thing working with this is that you want to make sure that you clean up um, as quickly as possible because you're going to end up dyeing your like, counters and things blue. So this is my cutting board, and you can see it's already kind of changing colors. So I sprayed some bathroom cleaner on it to hopefully uh, get those colors up. But yeah, so I'm turning it off now, and I'm just gonna let it sit here in the pot and let it um let it cool off to room temp. So it's probably gonna be a while, um, and I'll be back once it's cool. <laughs> hey, all right, welcome back. Um, I'm done boiling my cabbage, and yes, my kitchen does smell like boiled cabbage. Um, these two here are just examples of what happens when you add the cabbage juice indicator to your um, solutions, one's an acid, one's a base. So I just kind of want to show you a preview. I just want to test it out beforehand. So I'm going to put that up there. And what I'm going to do here is um, scoop out my cabbage mixture. So I'm going to scoop out my cabbage mixture, mixture um, into a a bowl here, so I have my bowl and I have a, a strainer it goes into the bowl and I'm putting a it's like an old white towel in there. You can use cheesecloth, but I'm not going to mess up my cheesecloth. I use these old towels to kind of clean up around the house and then I just blew, um, put them in the washing machine with some bleach that way you can just keep reusing them and you can get like a pack of them for about five bucks at Walmart and I just keep reusing those until they're just like usually like inundated with dog hair and that's when I toss them. I'm going to close my dog's room, their door, because they're starting to whine. I'm going to use my ladle here and scoop out the cabbage. And remember this will probably stain your countertops. So pretty much everything we do will stain your countertops. I'm kind of double sieving it because I um, 
I don't want to get a lot of cabbage stuck in my main strand because we want it to bottom. You can kind of press it. I have it sitting on a trivet just because it was warm. So it's not warm anymore, so you don't really need the trivet. But the trivet helps to kind of cool it off and to keep it from um, scorching your countertop. drops out. So you put the towel back in your strainer just because it will hold it pretty nicely. Um, then just scoop some of the already used up cabbage back into the towel. So, oops, I'll drop it. Yeah. And then give it a squeeze. And that'll give you like the last little bits of it. And then just drop the used pulp back in your bowl. And you know, use it for compost or something like that. Alright, welcome back. So I've cleaned everything up and I have my bowl here of my indicator solution. This is what happens when you add your um, indicator to either an acid or a base. So it's going to go over here. And I have another video showing how to use the indicator. Um, but right now we're going to talk about storage. So I have an old pickle jar and I have some little glass cannon jars. And you just want to pour it into um, your containers. in your kitchen when you're doing science because you're going to make a mess. Something's going to spill. So ladle it in your jar or you do little jars here. Just so you can store it. And I'm going to wrap these up in foil and I them in the fridge. So indicator. There's not so much left in there, so I probably can pour it now. Shoot, container. I don't know. I say I'm, I'm gonna be confident and try to like, pour this and then I'll spill it all everywhere. So I'm just gonna keep ladling it until there's little left in here in the bowl. But you see you get a fair amount. So this is like a, a decent sized pickle jar. Um, or a typical pickle jar. 24 fluid ounces in here. And I'm not quite sure how big my little containers here are. Again, like I think I said that every video, like you're gonna dye your countertops, so you don't want to dye them. And 
these are little glass jars. Okay, pass the heavy duty aluminum foil here. And stuff a piece. The jar. Wrap it up. But this is just in case, you know, it's sensitive to light. Um, this one works in a lab, so I like to keep everything away from the light. I just said that the, the light doesn't um, uh, decompose your mom, your the compounds. So it's just kind of a habit from working in labs. It's just having to cover everything with foil just in case like the light does something to it. Um, and I going in the refrigerator. So inside the refrigerator is dark. And it was here. These boxes always break on the edges. Alright. We're gonna wrap a pickle jar. So the pickle jar is wrapped up. Everything's cool. Little two little jars are also wrapped up. And these are gonna go into the fridge. Um, so my next video, I'll show you how to use the indicator um, to determine what's an asset and what's a base in your kitchen. So Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.